How's it going everyone? So today I want to talk about the value of working out. Now I'm going to do some other videos that are on the topic of working out, but this is all about the value and why you should do it, okay? So there's two reasons, main reasons I think people work out, okay? One is correct, one is incorrect. At least when it comes to guys, okay? I don't know about girls, but when it comes to guys, number one, stay healthy, all right? That's why you work out. And the other, which I think is incorrect, is just so you can pick up chicks. Now, I will just talk for a second on this idea. And the, the problem I have with it is this. If you're working that hard just to, just to have a body that, that women find attractive, well, I would, I would just put out there that probably the woman that's attracted to you just because of the way you look, uh, and that's really what you work on the most, I don't think that's a woman that's going to make you happy in the end. And, uh, or make you happy as a man. I mean, you want a woman that respects you for more than just your body. Uh, so that's, anyways, that's all I've got to say on that. Uh, but anyways, you know, that is, that is a side effect of all this, right? You want, you want to be attractive to women for sure, but that's not, that's not the, uh, the main goal in working out. So I work out because I want to stay healthy. I like not getting sick. <laughs> I like, uh, I like being able to do all the outdoor stuff I like to do. Uh, and I like competing with my, my friends. Okay, and, and all manner of sports. I, I, I enjoy sports. I'm not great at them, but I do enjoy them. Uh, I like being able to play basketball for hours on end and not get tired. So my whole, my whole idea behind working out is based at functionality. Some people, it's based on looks. Mine is based completely on functionality, right? I want to be able to run for miles. I want to be able to, to go on long hikes. I want to be able to, you know, jump rocks and creeks. I want to be able to climb trees. All that kind of stuff that I find enjoyable. I want to be able to do with ease, right? So that's why I work out. Uh, side effects of working out is, yeah, you do look better because your body is actually getting into its tip-top shape, which, you know, is good. All right, so let's talk about the next phase of this video, which is going to be talking about uh, realistic versus unrealistic goals, right? So I think it's kind of intimidating for a lot of guys out there uh, when the the men who are praised most in this culture are just genetically incredibly blessed, but they, they also work really hard for sure. Um, but they're just like incredible, insane, over the top shape. That's not necessarily attainable for a lot of people. And I think the world's going to have to grapple with that someday, right? We, you know, we can't all look like Hugh Jackman or, you know, Chris Evans. Like those people train for hours and hours and hours in the gym, have people who, who actually, you know, make their meals specifically for them so they can get to different body types, which is just, it's unrealistic. Listen, uh, most guys are going to work during their life and they're not going to have three hours a day to spend in the gym. And if they're spending three hours in the gym, I think they're sacrificing other goods that would be, you know, worth saying, okay, I'll be in a little less great shape, but I'll also work on these other, these other things in my life, which are important. Okay. Uh, so I think it's daunting for a lot of guys when they, they look around and it's, oh, okay, so working out's supposed to make you look like that. <clears throat> well, not necessarily, right? I mean, sure, if you want to work out three hours a day or however many hours a day and, and you get an insanely, you know, specific meal plan, sure, you probably could do it. But my question is, is it worth it? And to me, it's not, okay? Like, I want to be in good shape. Uh, I, I don't want to be in bad shape because I can't do a lot of the things that I love to do if I am in bad shape. So I'm going to try and do a couple videos on just the basics of working out. Um, people who have worked out before will look at these videos and say, oh, you're stupid. I'm just going to go over the basics. Uh, what's important for functionally, you know, for a, a functional workout schedule. People People, if you think that you need three hours in the gym, you're just, you're just dead wrong, okay? To stay in good shape, I would say 30 to 45 minutes a day in the gym, if you can actually afford that time, like even if you only get 15 minutes in, but you know, 30 to 45 minutes a day in the gym will get you in really good shape if you actually go in with an intense attitude, which a lot of people don't. It's easy to spend two hours in the gym when you're flipping through your phone all the time, looking for the next song, or you know, just like talking to your buddy and stuff. It's like, just... Don't waste that time. You know, people say, I don't have time for the gym. It's like, well, really you only need 30 minutes a day, but you have to make sure in that 30 minute span that you are actually working out and you're, you're working out hard. That'll get you in good shape. Um, 
like I said, I'm not, I'm not an expert on this in, in any way, shape, or form, uh, but I do think it is good for men to work out. It is good to get in good physical condition, all right? Um, so there are a couple things that come along with, with working out. So I think your main goal when you work out should be stay healthy because that's something you can keep throughout the rest of your life. Eventually, you're going to get old and you're not going to look as attractive as you are now. That's just a fact of life. So if you're only working out so that you can be attractive to women, it's like one day that's, that's not going to be a possible goal. All right? And then you're just going to start. And my, my guess is it'd be a lot easier in that circumstance to just stop working out because it's like, I can't attain what I could when I was in my 20s or whatever. And it's like, no, you can't. You're, you know, you're, you're in your mid-50s. You're not going to look the same as you, you did in your 20s. That's how time works on our bodies, all right? Uh, and so I think it's better to have a goal of, I want to stay functional and I want to stay healthy, right? That should be the first goal. Now, a couple things that come along with working out. Uh, I think one good thing about working out is that when someone sees someone who is fit, um, they know at least on a base level that that person has tried hard at something, right? And so if you walk into a room and, you know, you know, other people can see you and say, okay, I at least know that he has tried to maintain his, his physical composure, which is good, okay? Uh, now, if you, <laughs> here's how you completely destroy that. If you are always talking about how you are, are, working out all the time and stay in this great shape, you completely destroy any credibility, at least with me, that you would have had if you would have just shut your mouth and talked about something else, right? If you walk up to a guy who's in really good shape and there's like, oh yeah, man, I was like, I work out, you know, four hours a day in the gym and I can bench this number and it's like, I don't need to know that. Like, just shut up and I'll, I'll recognize that you've tried hard at something. There you go, all right? So that's something that go, comes along with it. Um, you know, like physical attractiveness to women, I think would definitely go up. I mean, if, if, you're, if you're working out consistently, you're going to get in better shape and that does make you more attractive. And I think part of that actually does come from the fact that people look at you and they say, oh, this guy actually works hard at something. You know, that's good. Um, but it also helps, you know, with your human form and perfecting it. So that's, that's a good thing. Now, unrealistic goals, just get them out of your head right away. All right. You, like I said, the average person isn't some guy from Hollywood. He, you just don't have that time on your hands. So, I mean, you're going to be working like a regular person, most likely, and you're not going to have all day to work out in the gym. That's just realistic. But make sure you take some time to, to do some kind of physical activity that is going to keep you in shape and keep you healthy. So that way, you know, you can enjoy life longer and a better quality of life than you would if you were in bad shape. So I'm not trying to be cruel to anyone here, but just I think that working out is good for men in general. Uh, it's, it's good to actually just be able to exert effort on something and to try really hard, and it, it'll help with your willpower, uh, which I will do a whole other video on willpower later. Um, it should be a good one. I'm looking forward to doing that one. Uh, <laughs> but, but working out in general does have value. And if you're just completely overwhelmed because there's so much information out there, I'm going to do a video soon about that. Uh, but it's not difficult. You need 30 minutes a day and you got to eat right and you'll stay in shape. And um, anyways, I think, I think that the perfect man would actually have a good intellect to be able to talk about deep issues, but also be in good physical condition. And uh, there's definitely a balance there. That, you know, I think the intellect is a little more important than the physical side of a person. Uh, your personality is a little bit more important than your, your physicality. And so I would, I would say always be working on those things, but also upkeep your body and just stay in good shape because it is, it'll make you happier. It'll make you feel like you've accomplished something. And so anyways, I'll stop babbling on, but work out, okay? It'll, it'll keep you in good shape and it'll help perfect you as a man. Be strong be able to run for a long time, be functional in life, okay? And I think you'll be happier with yourself as a man. So that's all I've got to say. Hope this video helped.